Hi, Ross Schaefer, and I just spoke at an IT event uh, here in Seattle, and this question came up at lunch. How does anybody or anything remain relevant for 50 years? And immediately, I didn't think of a business. I thought of the band The Beatles. They were international superstars, but their career only lasted about 10 years. The Beatles broke up in 1970, yet by 2006, almost 40 years later, they had the top-selling album of the year, Love. How's it possible? Well, a friend of mine, Bill Staten, is the preeminent Beatles expert in the world, and he talks about this phenomenon in his book, The Five Best Decisions the Beatles Ever Made. Here's how Bill says they sustained relevance for 50 years. Number one, they had a single shared vision. Their goal was to be the best band in the world, and everything they did had to serve that specific goal. Secondly, they played into their strengths. John and Paul were great writers. They didn't depend on Ringo or George to write the songs. Three, they shared the spotlight so everybody felt like a real contributor to the band. Fourth, they kept changing their style ahead of the times. Sgt. Pepper wasn't like any record before or since. And fifth, they worked harder than any other band in the world, producing 12 albums, 22 singles, and 1,400 live appearances in only five years. Bill's book is a really fun and powerful read for any manager or leader who wants to inspire relevance in their team and give them hope. Oh, and let's not forget the Rolling Stones. They're also still relevant. The Stones' last tour grossed over $550 million, which is a pretty sustainable business model, I'd say, especially since their first show was in 1962. They've had 50 years of this and 59 albums later, and they're still rocking it big time. This is Ross Schaefer for The Relevant Report.